business, they're all over the country. They're all, they're all young men and women. Mm. And finally, a high court sitting in Obi, a local government in Nasara states, has sentenced a senior lecturer of the Federal University of Lafia, full Lafia, that's Fred Ekbe <laughs> Ayokai, to six months imprisonment. This followed an agreement for a plea bargain by the lecturer and compensation to be paid to the victim, Ms. Blessing Matthias. Godwin Agon reports. In 2022, Nigerians were inundated with a viral video indicating an assault on Blessing Matthias by senior lecturer of the Federal University of Lafia, Fred Ekbe Ayoke, and his children. The lecturer and his children were afterwards arrested and prosecuted at the State High Court in Obi, a local government in Nasara State. In his judgment, the presiding judge, Justice Solomon Ainaji, convicted Mr. Ayoke and sentenced him to six months' imprisonment for criminal conspiracy and to another six months for physical assault. The court agreed that both sentences were run concurrently in consideration of his plea and that the six months' period spent at the custodian center will be reckoned with. Six months' probation for the children and tax the premises of the high court plea and to also be of good behavior. The defendants pleaded guilty to the offense and um, having pleaded guilty to the offense, the Dr. Fred was now convicted based on the plea agreement for the six months for conspiracy and six months for housebreak for, for, for assault. And, you know, uh, that's totally 12 months in reality. But the six months are to run concurrently. The lecturer also agreed to an undisclosed amount as compensation for the victim. Okay. We visited the home of Ms. Blessing Matthias, where she resides with her friends in Lafia, which was where the incident occurred. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Gordon Abraham from CBC News. I'd like to just have a little chat with you. Okay. Blessing Matthias is an orphan who dropped out of the Taraba State Polytechnic following her inability to continue with the payment of her school fees. Who is 20 years and the first of three girls, lost her mother in 2018 and her father to kidnappers in 2019. She narrates her day after the ugly incident which occurred in October 2022. I I could have not get myself to I'll be receiving insults from different people, both people that will compensate me, both people that will be uh, pleading with me I should be here. So, you know, haters they dislike. So, some will be insulting. If I'm walking on the road, people will be pointing finger on me. Even up to now, self, things are like that are still going on. Blessing says she has forgiven her detractors, but yet to get any offer for compensation. I think March of February, that was when they uh, asked me to come to me. I went there, I just met the lady was just crying, saying I should please forgive her. I said, it's fine, it's not, I, I don't have anything. Like, I didn't have my, my mind, it's okay. Judgment is not enough for me, there will be more, more than that. And for him saying he will compensate me, I haven't seen anything, I haven't received a dime from anybody. Other neighbors and eyewitnesses share their view on the judgment. For me, it's not okay, because... Let's, let us forget about her, because even us, her friends, we went through a lot. Like, they even scatter our phones, the window, they break all those glasses there. And the day, we were just running about that day. Because even my friend said was having an exam, that they said she no right exam because of what happened. They even hit me sick on my back. We stood, with, we stayed at the hospital with her for like two days. And ah. Uh, her video is everywhere, her nude. Ah. Efforts made to reach out to the convicted lecturer and his lawyer proved abortive. And text messages were sent to both parties, but they were not willing to grant us audience. 
The state attorney general gives further interpretation to the legal implications of being convicted. The constitution places restriction on persons who may have been convicted by a court of law for crimes of this nature to run for offices, public offices. So by being convicted, it's a life, lifetime ban. A person has been branded. And the implication would now mean that getting employed or appointed for any position of trust or any position for, for public responsibility or would now be limited, not completely eliminated. Authorities of Federal University of Lafia had earlier dissociated the school from the conduct of the convicted lecturer, but they are yet to make public their position on his job status. Godwin, Agua, TVC News, Lafia. Julia, can you refresh our memory about this story? You know, the, um, it was uh, last year that that video went viral of um, the lecturer who accompanied three of his kids to the home of a girl who was said to have um, snatched the boyfriend of uh, the lecturer's daughter. You know, and um, I think that when she was confronted she then was not in more than um, wrong. wrong. So they then mobilized to go and beat her up. And I saw the lecturer, you know, at a point it got a scissors, mm. a pair of scissors, and the strap of the, her top, mm. he then used the scissors to cut that strap. With the intention of uh, of leaving her uh, uh, breast dangling, so after this uh, after this beating, they took her into the bush. By that time, she was now naked. Mm. They had removed her dress, and she was she was naked. I didn't even know that that video was that long. So somebody showed me an extended. Version. Yes. I said, ah, so they went to this extent. To their hands? Yes. How can an old man, you know, this boy was convicted to and told to go and uh, remove his uh, dread drugs, you know? So how can a father accompany to tell you that things have collapsed? Moral, there's no morality in our country anymore. How can a father boyfriend uh, go? with uh, the daughter to the under to, to the home of a rival mm. it should mm. have been a matter between the children and if the you father know? gets to here he would have scolded both of them they, well these are this you are talking They're about uh, this in um mm. uh, uh, sex before marriage and all that mm. you know the way these distance just appear to have collapsed totally. What is your business? I can't imagine my dad, for example, doing this kind of thing. You know? And if you are not raised, I'm sure this lecturer was also not raised in this manner. You have no reason to then make your children believe that this kind of uh, uh, behavior is right. Accompany, what's your business accompanying? them to, to the home of the girl, Flogging and then like you are beating her an like, like an animal. Then took her into the bush. They drove her away from that um, um, house, took her into the bush, and left her there naked. So, so I mean, at that point we said, look, this matter has to be uh, pursued. And thankfully, the university authorities dissociated themselves from uh, what happened, and given the um, publicity that this thing got, right. the government got involved and then they, they, they took him to court. He had been in detention uh, in the prison for six months. You could see when I saw his picture, he had clearly lost weight. Hmm. When we compared him, compared him with the man that we saw uh, using scissors to, to sweep the woman. Have been no, the thing is, they may not even beat him. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure they won't be eating, but Starved. Well, yes, the kind of food that you eat there it's is not what you uh, eat at all. Coffee. You are a lecturer, you are not, you are, a, you are an associate professor as I had. Uh -huh. And you are not even a moral champion. You are not, you are not a good example. Mm, associate professor. Yes, an associate sure. professor going to beat up a girl and strip her naked. What is the point of, uh, of, of doing that? What will you gain? You could be. So we know we are not in the banana republic. No, we are not. So we have laws. Yeah. And we even have morals as a society on how elders should behave. Mm. And this is not one of them. But people will say, maybe because people are now civilized. Civilization does not equal the ability to know what is right from what is wrong. And I get very angry when people use that time that uh, things are not like in the old days. The old days, because our parents decided that being morally upright is key in training children. Mm. In most parts of Nigeria during our time, <laughs> your, it's not your parents that will have that will have You're only the neighbors. Mm. It's the neighbors, the neighbors that will, will normally you have, you have one old woman somewhere who is the conscious of the, or of the, the community. <laughs> whose job is to let you know. The moment she mentions your name, you know that your kid is waiting at home. Because she will not only call your name, she will let you know that she has seen you. I will report it to your parents at the appropriate time. Nowadays, all those are gone. People fight lecturers who, or even teachers who dare to beat children in primary schools. Not to talk of those. Imagine what this man will have done. If you can take this kind of battle to a child that I'm sure is over 18 and decide it's your rights to protect the infidelity of your daughter. With your rival, something that is unheard of mm. 15, 20 years ago. Even, even those of us who are boys, there are things you cannot do. You can't even take a girlfriend home. No, no. you can't mm -hmm. get a long, long. <laughs> Where are you going to start? The <laughs> moment I tried that nonsense, not even me, somebody used my room. I was deroomed <laughs> for two years. The room, that means my daddy took away my room and made me. That see. privilege that you had. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because you are not serious. Mm. They took away the room and I had to go back to sleeping on the couch in the city room after being a landlord for about almost six months. You know, even for the female child, our parents were usually extremely, yeah. extremely um, disciplinarian mm. when dealing with the female child. And so this sort of thing, is think of it. And if you had flings, you had boyfriends and all that, you dare not let them know. You know, no, she, you came back, let them she came know. back home and told her father that somebody and the stole father thought, thought that it was bad enough to even intervene physically, beat up the girl. He was the one using scissors to cut her. That what she was wearing there. You know, it, it, that's you know, a strap. Know truth, yeah. He cut the strap to 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 expose her uh, um, her bosom. So unfortunate. And, and, level, and generally level is. It's, it's very wrong to take laws into your hand in this country. And we are used to that in Nigeria. No, you, see, at, at, you know, the, even, the worst thing was they even recorded it. That's how confident they were. Yes. Yeah, to show are. you that they were they downright to irresponsible. Later, totally. They want, this, this person didn't kill us. So psychologically, the girl is still down. Both of you, because we are talking about... Um, well, it's not marriage that we are talking about now. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're, we're literally we're talking about um, premarital sex mm -hmm. is what this whole thing is about. Too. Mm -hmm. Premarital sex. And you are now justified. making it look like, look, what this girl has done is wrong. But what your own daughter has not done... not officially married. To, 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 I mean, it's not wrong. Whereas she's not married to that person. If they had done introduction, for example, mommy, mommy, and somebody goes to sleep with that person, you will get angry, your blood will boil. But both of them are just uh, uh, freelancers to, 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 the, to the man uh, concerned. And an old man got involved, beating up. No, what is even wrong in young women um, being. That's your business. Ah. How is that your this business? Is the, we this live is the beginning of time. Ah. Yeah, this, like this, we live in a season of oddities. Mm. 
Things that you can't imagine will happen these days, you just see it happening. You know how you are, you know, even sex is nothing to our people anymore. Mm -hmm. You used to discuss sex in hush tones. Mm -hmm. You don't want the next person to hear. These days, skit makers, they will be going from school to school. They will, they will be interviewing those guests and be asking them, what's your body count? <laughs> As if that's not enough, they will ask, what style do you like? What's your favorite style? Mm -hmm. And then that same guy will then go to the point of saying, say, okay, uh, kiss or grab. <coughs> Most of them will opt for grab. They won't want to kiss someone that they don't say, they are not familiar with. The next thing, they will start fondling, fondling people's buttocks. And they are showing it. The same guy knows that she's being recorded. And it is nothing to them. It's, it, it, so many odd things are happening these days. I can't imagine. So, because sometimes I wonder when I see, because there was a time when all these Kiss or uh, grab. grading used to work on programs. Plus 18. Plus, nowadays you see a 6 year old child sitting down watching a plus 18 movie. Mm. And, and nobody will say anything. Nobody anything. cares. And I'm sure even the, the people who live in us cable, they are tired of asking us to do parental control. Even if uh, some parents don't bother. Parents, the children cannot watch anything. And the language they use at that age, you wonder. At our, at our age, you don't even know that those languages exist. Yes. But now they, they tell you to your face exactly, they know what exactly is happening. Our parents never, as I said before on this program, our parents never knew any style beyond the missionary style. <laughs> you will start hearing different... Uh, <laughs> I said, Nigeria, we are in trouble. Ah, what is all this? And you are showing it, and they, are even, they will be smiling. They, they see nothing wrong about it. God. We are level of decadence. No, no, no it's decadence. unbelievable. The level of decadence is not. We are not saying, none of us no, is saying. Nobody says that. But ah, come off it. It's just, Your it's unimaginable. Hmm? Our generation. No, no, no. <laughs> this generation, I fear for this generation. No. Oh, sorry. Ariel Nukakan for his birthday today. Yeah, it's that's Ariel Nukakan for his birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ariel. Ariel of life. Ariel Nukakan for his birthday. That's Otuba Gani. Ibaga. Ibaga. Ibaga Gani Adams. Happy birthday, sir. May God give you good health. Yes, so. And long life. Um, so yes. that you can continue to work for us. Yes. The way you work for us. Anytime we remember that you are there, anytime we remember mm. that the OPC is there, it makes us happy. We yeah. know that we are secure. Mm. Expect us is normally tomorrow, right? Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> to, and it's also Joey Buku's birthday. Mm. Oh, <laughs> the irrepressible, <laughs> Joey troublesome Bukwe. Joey Bukwe. The special <laughs> advisor <laughs> of Joey Jim Lagos. Yes. <laughs> no, happy he's a birthday, consistent Joey. man. Mm. You know, I like you so much, um, <laughs> and uh, my prayer is that I will see you for many more years. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. enjoy. happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, Joe. What you've done for our area is wonderful. There was a time they used to steal all these things. Yes, sir. And I called Joe, doing two job. days, everywhere was sealed. So, Agbalanze of Newi, Agbalanze one of Newi, Joe Bokwe, happy birthday, it, sir. It best me that one. <laughs> yes, so DKB. Thank you for your contribution. Always and the best of that. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions Thanks. today. And that's our offering on Journalist Hangout on Sunday today. Join us tomorrow for our regular program at 5 p.m. You can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode tonight at 11.30, 11.30 p.m. And we're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubaku. See you tomorrow and God bless Nigeria. <laughs>